Lynx Touch provides state-of-the-art security and home automation benefits. With the Lynx Touch 7000, you can display and control up to four cameras at a time. To pair the IP Wi-Fi cameras to the router, the router must have a WPS button. Make sure the Wi-Fi camera is at least 10 feet away from the router and powered on. Press and hold the WPS button on the router for about five seconds. The LED should blink slowly. Press and hold the WPS button on the back of the camera for about five seconds. The network LED on the camera should blink. When the network LED turns green, the Wi-Fi camera is connected to the router. Repeat this procedure for any other Wi-Fi cameras you have for the system. Now that your cameras are paired with your Wi-Fi router, you can configure and control them from the Lynx Touch 7000. From the home screen, press the video icon. The system will now advance to the cameras screen and automatically scan for available cameras. You can also manually scan by selecting the scan icon. Once the scan is complete, you will see a list of cameras. You can view up to four cameras at a time. Select a camera from the list until it is highlighted in green. Select your other cameras the same way. Select the back icon to view the selected cameras. You will see a quad screen with four cameras. Do the following to view and control the cameras. Double tap the video display from the camera you wish to control. The Lynx Touch displays a full screen view of the video and the camera controls that are available for the selected camera. If you have pan-tilt cameras, they can be positioned by using the arrows or by swiping your finger across the screen horizontally, vertically, or diagonally to drive the camera in that direction. Double tap the video display to return to the quad view. Select the camera icon to return to the camera list. To edit the name of a camera, keep selecting the camera until it is highlighted in yellow. Select the Edit tab. Select the Clear icon, then type in the name of the camera. Select Done. Repeat the same steps to rename other cameras. Please note that to select a different camera, you will need to keep selecting the current camera until it is highlighted in white, then select your next camera. 